dark greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of after the shadows the show created just for you the fans i'm your host party vegan today's episode is stacked so let's get going You love funny and you love Broadway. Boy, do we have a show for you. Please welcome the nicest kids in town, Anthony Atomanik and Marissa Jarrett Winoker. Hello. 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 Thanks for, for coming. Thanks for coming on the show, you guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having is, is us. Is he the funny or is, and I'm the Broadway? Does that make me <laughs> not funny in Broadway? <laughs> my intro. Oh my God. And I've been on Broadway. Together, we are funny in Broadway. We, we're funny, funny in Broadway. In Broadway. <laughs> well, that's my first question. How did you guys get started? I mean, Marissa, I know that and we talked about this, but I saw you as Tracy Turnblad on Broadway. Like that was like what blew my mind. Like how did you get started in acting in musical theater and all that? Oh my gosh. Um, I was born and decided I wanted to be Ethel Merman at the age of like four, like every little girl does. And um, then literally I just did it. You know, uh, there was no social media. There was no American Idol. There was no way to, for me to do it except for community theater, doing my high school productions. And then I was on Broadway at 19. And Anthony, you are no stranger to uh -huh. creating original characters and also imitating some famous ones. Uh, you're recently famous uh, for uh, imitating uh, number 45. Is that correct? Yeah, that's unfortunately <laughs> true. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I wish I had Marissa's story, but I don't. How did you get started in comedy and acting and all that? Well, I'm the child of a Broadway uh, singer and uh, dancer, and my father is a drummer, so I grew up in a sort of performance household. Uh, and then I took a bunch of life detours and then eventually somehow ended up doing this. <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> well, think about these two characters. Okay, so you're neighbors to the vampiric uh, group of friends that I live with. I just want to say to my wife <laughs> that I adore you. <laughs> I mean, look at us, you know, it's 11 friends. All together, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Right? Holy shit! It's just like Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> what? Did you guys get a group raid or something? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> okay, okay. What did you have to do to get into the mindset of a Staten Island character? Well, I put on a padded bra, and um, <laughs> honestly, I feel like I just just worked with Anthony. I didn't have to do anything. It just felt like I just sort of arrived and was ready to do the shows. Well, I'll say first off, Marissa walked on. We did not know each other at all. And within 30 seconds, we knew exactly the dynamic, which was so hostile that someone, I think, <laughs> did, did, did Kyle go, guys, like, it's got to not be this angry. And we both later were like, this is what it was like in our home. <laughs> our characters are not the smartest. But I definitely yes. hearts of gold and um, clearly uh, love yeah. each other. We love your characters. We love Shawnee. We love Charmaine. And you're celebrating a major uh, anniversary here, right? I don't know what year is it, it is. Maybe it's like 20 years, 10 years. How are you forgetting our anniversary? I honestly... Charming. I feel like it has to be 25 years. Well, you know, when we have you on set, we always ask the cast to pitch any ideas they might have or, you know, future storylines. And Marissa, you pitched an idea. I think that Charmaine should take Nadja on a shopping spree. And I think I should take her on a makeover and do like a full makeover of Nadja because I can't imagine her wearing like track suits from you know, Staten Island, I think would be an amazing moment watching a montage of Nadia getting to be like Charmaine. <laughs> I like that idea. I love that I, idea. I like it. I didn't remember what I said, so I was a little nervous. <laughs> now the producers know about it, they're aware about it, they know your wishes, so you never know what the future might hold. But Anthony, if you had to pitch an idea, what's an idea or storyline that you think might, might be Shawnee's? It would be fun to discover something like soft that Sean does, like some secret soft thing, like that he's part of a quilting group 
or like that he or that like or that he likes he rescues like birds in like a wildlife refuge in like Staten Island. I feel like I want to I, I want to find one piece of him that's like gentle. So that would I don't know if that's more much of a storyline as much as a character aspect, but because he's such a, a rough uh, sort of uh, moron. I like the bird thing. Maybe we put up, um, I'm just going to feed off of this. This is called, you know, working together to come up with a good story. But yeah. bird, you know, the bird houses that people put up, but they put up bat, bat houses to keep all the mosquitoes out of their backyard. So you can put yes. house. We put bat houses in our backyard and we, and we capture the vampires. Her. Yes. Oh, you know what? You capture Laszlo and then Laszlo watches my day to day. So the episode is like a, is a day, is like a day in a life where Laszlo is kept in a cage because, because Sean doesn't want to kill him. And so you really see the sort of true Sean and Charmaine I life. I, I'm behind that. Bottle episode. It's cheap too. Producers, <laughs> it's cheap. That's a cheap episode. So cheap. Just film it in the house. <laughs> oh, wait, we have some questions here from the audience I wanted to ask you. And the first question is, how have you been sleeping lately? Any neck or back pain? <laughs> Can you recommend a good pillow? What you really should do is stop acting like a bunch of jabronis and get like 25 of these things each. Well, I don't usually sleep with 25 pillows. Newsflash, you don't use these. You buy extras and then you sell them to your stupid friends for a little do re me for yourself. Oh, the my pillow. Oh, I was like- uh, Can I even say the my pillow? <laughs> yes, I mean, I sleep great. Here's another question for you. Hellhound or golden retriever? Golden retriever. Hell, I gotta say hellhound. Oh, you're totally opposites. Opposites attract, see? <laughs> Before we move on to our game, our world famous game, we have one last question that's really important. Oh. And this one got over 36,000 likes. So here it is. What's it like working with me? Harvey, it is a dream to work with you. And you know how I know that? I haven't worked with you yet, actually. We've never had a scene so together. So that's why it's a dream? You know how I know that? We never <laughs> exactly. worked together, so it's been a dream. <laughs> good, good, good punchline, right? We had together with him. He doesn't even remember shooting, Harvey. No, spending time with Harvey is the best. Har- Harvey's <laughs> like, uh, no, seriously. It's like the hanging out. I'll say that the hanging out on the show is some of the best hanging out of any show I've worked on. We love having you on the show. Thank we love hanging God. out with you guys. And who knows, season four starts soon. So you never know if Shawnee and Charmaine may be popping in again. So I'm excited. So if you guys heard of this game, it's our famous game. You've heard of a New York Minute, but have you heard of a, a Staten Island Minute? I'm gonna ask you some rapid okay. fire questions with 60 seconds on the clock. The goal is for you two to work together to answer as many questions correctly as you can. Are you ready? I'm so competitive, okay. this is okay. stressing me okay, out. Ready? Yeah, Here we go. and I'm Clock is ready to go. Which of the following is Sean's mother's name? A. Janice. B. Joan. Janice. Oh, Janice. it's Joan. Oh, sure. <laughs> Last season, Sean I gives Charmaine what? A. Naja's necklace or B. A, a new ring. A. A. That's a. right. Naja's ring. Naja's necklace. Next. Next. All right. The author of the first ever Dracula book is named A. Abraham Stoker or B. William Faulkner. The author of the first ever Dracula book. I feel like it's a a, question. A. a, correct, correct. Moving on. Oh, did we already hit the clock? No, 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 no. keep going. <laughs> Tonight's episode, we see Guillermo's mastermind Wayne taking over power. What year did Christopher Columbus sail to America? A, 19, 1492 or B, 1462? Isn't it A, 1492? Yes, that's correct. Okay, moving on to over oh, time. Oh, do okay, one do one more, do one more. Okay, <laughs> okay. What is Naja and Laszlo's last name? A. Ravensworth or B. Cravensworth? I'm gonna say B. B. And that's correct. Yeah, you got four. That was pretty good so far. That seems to be the average score: four, five. So you guys are probably in second place as of now. I would say. Ooh. Yeah. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for this show. Is there anything you want to tell the fans who we do this show for? Anything you want to say, Marissa? Oh, no, just I, I love this show, and I am so grateful to be a part of this show. So I'm also a fan. So I do so, um, I will say that I watched the movie What We Do in the Shadows years ago, and I turned to my cousin who, who put it on for me, 
And I said, man, I go, I wish I could be a part of something like that. Like that would be so great to be in something. That's, that's what I want to be in. And uh, the fact that I even get to do this, be a part of it is like, it's, it's truly like, but you know, like rock and roll fantasy camp or whatever. It's like, it feels like just a dream to get to come do it and to work with all of you far more talented and uh, better governed people than me. <laughs> well, again, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. We love having you on the show and off the show. So please join us whenever because we love you. We love Shawnee. We love Charmaine. They're the best neighbors ever. So thank you again for thank joining you. us. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye, work wife. Bye. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to send us your art by using the hashtag after the shadows fan art. That's hashtag after the shadows fan art. Just put it on social media. You never know. You might find it and you might see it on a future episode. So keep it coming.